Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. Have a look at uh, radioprepper.com. I'm here to do a preliminary test of the Chameleon Empath system. I found a nice little park here and uh, I'm going to set up before my uh, camping trip in the Pyrenees. So always make sure you test all your equipment before going anywhere and that's what I'm doing today. Uh, so let's have a look. Pretty sunny today. It's actually pretty rare here in the north of France. <laughs> so I found a great spot here to put my MPA system with the hybrid micro you can see here. The whip. I have one counterpoise wire here that divides into four, and I'm going to uh, place them in a cross. On the ground so that should provide me with a very good uh, ground plane I attach a radial here to a fence hopefully it makes a good contact uh, with the rest of the fence which which I'm not sure about but uh, it's worth a try for the other wires I'm just using 10 stakes I found a nice spot in the shade here, plugged in the antenna, it's above that pole you see, the green one, uh, well they're all green. I have my uh, Weber MTR and the, uh, the uh, ZM2 tuner, the key is the Kent. I wish I had bought a lighter one. I'm going to have to build something lighter uh, for uh, trekking because it's just way too heavy. Uh, it's a desk key, not made for uh, traveling. So let's plug that in and uh, try to make some contact. I'm going to tune the antenna now. I put, it, uh, I put the switch down the left on tune. And unfortunately, I have to let go of my phone, so I can't show you this. I don't have a tripod. Something I need to get, and uh, we'll see when it's ready to go. Okay, I found my spot. It's very sharp. So the LED is not coming on, which uh, means the SWR is okay. By the way, I'm using uh, 9 volts as the, the battery has 9 volts left. And that's just a couple of watts. Fourteen oh six so is pretty busy today. The station I contacted before uh, was from Croatia. Croatia from the north of France, not bad. I'm going to uh, tune around a bit. See what's out there. Uh, 
contester. I don't like to talk to those guys too much. It's just, uh, I prefer to chat. Must be a contest weekend. Test, test means contest. Okay, I think I need to tune on 30 meter and uh, there's no contest on 30 meter so let's let's try that. Okay, we are back with the MPAS system from Chameleon Antennas. So this was a preliminary test, uh, not conclusive, but um, I knew the system worked anyway, that's, that's, there's no question there. I made one contact to Croatia on 20 meter, not much luck on 30, and unfortunately I didn't have time to try 40. But let's have a look at the uh, the parts individually. The key of the system is the hybrid micro. It's a 5 to 1 Unun, and I have to say it's very very well built. Um, here you can see everything is machined very precisely there's no um, I mean it's really it's really solid uh, I wish there was four screws for the uh, socket here but you know there's four holes so why not put four screws I don't think it would come apart but eh, you know uh, of course the fitting is a uh, 3 8 dash 24 and uh, I can turn it but you can see it's really it's really awesome I could have made one for a fraction of the price of course but I don't have the capabilities you know no lath and no uh, milling machine to do something like this so uh, is it worth the asking price uh, yeah I think so it's uh, it's really I mean it's really well made there's one thing to be uh, considered when uh, buying equipment is how long it's going to last and that piece there is, uh, I guess, is going to last forever, probably. So I really like it. I mean, nothing bad to say about it. Uh, we have here the uh, jar mount. Also very solid piece of metal. Uh, it's a bit heavy. But, you know, if you want ruggedness, <clears throat> you get the weight. And that's just the way it is. You know, it's very hard to make something that's very rugged. And light at the same time and when you do get something that is it costs a fortune the wire is a 60 foot wire to be used as uh, an and fed wire nothing to say uh, nothing bad to say about it certainly it's really uh, looks very good um, so here we get to the whip and the whip is a temple. <laughs> uh, nothing wrong with that. You know, no need to reinvent the wheel. It's a very good temple. I mean, it's really uh, thick, solid. It's not very flexible, which is great. Pretty rigid, so you can uh, use it horizontally. The fittings are really good. This fitting here is really, really well fitted, and it's really awesome. Stainless steel, again, you're not going to have any problem with that. I don't have the uh, dipole mount here because I'm not going to use it. I'm going to take it apart and use the parts for another project. So I'm not, uh, actually I'm going on a trip um, tomorrow and I'm not going to take it with me. So uh, the texting, the texting, 
the testing I'm going to be doing uh, is going to concentrate probably on using the whip because we know that a 60 foot wire is going to work I mean there's, there's no doubt uh, and, and it's going to work you know really well so uh, but the whip is is an unknown whips uh, usually are not used for any kind of skip they're used for short ground wave contacts um, I actually learned recently that my RT320, which is a military man pack, was used in the Falklands for um, short CW uh, Morse code contacts for just basically a few miles or between uh, shore and ship, basically, but not long distance contacts. It does work for that, but it's not as reliable, of course. But we'll see. I'll take it with me. I don't have the uh, mill extension, uh, but. Um, the whip is 10 foot 8 inches and it's a compromise. I, I know it's not going to work as well as a half wave wire. There's just no way. But if it works well enough and I can make contacts, I'll be happy. Uh, I'll be taking a 10 meter counterpoise wire with me. And uh, from what I've seen so far, I think it's, it's going to work. Maybe not as well as a resonant antenna but you get a lot of convenience with this system it's very fast to put together you just you know assemble it in just a matter of minutes and you're on the air so that's it for now and uh, stay tuned for more you'll have a great day